<laughs> Good joke. Hi, everyone. It's me, Jeff Leach, aka the voice of Ghost from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019, Warzone, and Call of Duty Mobile. Back with another one of our Call of Duty actor interview series videos. And this time, this time it's a hard one. Because this time, it's me! That's right, baby boys and girls. It's me, Jeff Leach, the voice of Ghost, doing an interview for you to enjoy at gun range. Taken from our long format video where I took 14 different Call of Duty actors down to a gun range for a day of activities and bonding with the COD community. Check that video out on the channel as well. You're gonna get to see me talk about how much I love the Call of Duty community, fan base, you guys, my viewers, and of course, pew pew pewing down in the AO, cause you know, I am, I am sweaty. Oh, oh, it appears my glasses got a little bit wonky. And what glasses they are. In fact, the glasses of our sponsors for today's video. Gunner Optic Gaming Glasses, ladies and gentlemen. Sleek, majestic, powerful, but most importantly, blocking that nasty little blue light that causes you so many problems without even realizing. If you suffer from headaches, migraines, eye strain, tiredness, fatigue, and insomnia, you might need a pair of blue light blockers to help you not have those issues moving forward. Whether you're a gamer, a streamer, or you just sit behind a screen for more than an hour a day doing work, you need a pair of these to really protect your eyes. Now, for those of you who don't know, excessive exposure to blue light can actually cause you a lot of problems with your sleep pad. That has a knock-on effect causing insomnia, which in turn can cause eye strain, headaches, migraines, and a whole lot more problems. So don't be a wally. Get to gunner.com right now. Use code Jeff, you get 10% off every single order and get yourself a little bit of blue light blocking goodness in your life. And then when you're done with that, finish watching the rest of this video as I talk about me. I'm talking about you, thinking about me, and how it affects you whilst I'm there thinking about you. Yeah. What's going on? My name is Jeff Leach, and I represent the character of Ghost in Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Warzone. Now, the interesting thing is, even though I've become deeply immersed in the world of Call of Duty since my entry into the game as a character of Ghost, I never played any COD games prior to that. Now, I play pretty much all of them. I haven't worked through the original Black Ops series, but I have played all the original Modern Warfares, all the remastered versions, obviously Cold War that just came out, and Warzone every single day for about six to 10 hours a day, six days a week. And of course, Modern Warfare, because I'm, you know, in it. I've been playing games since way back when. I mean, I started out with one of those switch on, switch off Nintendo one game, part of the map being printed into the actual game screen types, uh, you know, the Donkey Kong barrel toss, that kind of thing. And then progressed onto your Game Boys and your Master System 2, stuff like that. And of course, now I play video games, like I say, six hours a day, six days a week, all sorts of types, RPGs, uh, first person shooters, nice puzzle games, real time strategy games and turn based strategy games, and the occasional card game, but fuck Hearthstone. Check out the Bazaar instead. It's gonna be coming out later this year, Tempo Storm. Are you ready? So when I took the role of Ghost, I definitely felt there was uh, a reason for me being booked that was the connection to myself, to the character. In the sense that I am definitely a bit of an underdog. I'm a little bit cheeky. I like to work in the shadows sometimes. If you've ever seen me in any other color than black, then you're a liar. Or maybe my wardrobe stylist who keeps trying to put me in pinks and pastel blues, which brings out my eyes but not my rage. I'm a lot like Ghost in the sense that I'm very loyal to my teammates. I definitely uh, am a good support character. And when I need to be, I'm very to the point, very direct, good at leadership skills, and a little bit fucking violent. You weren't scared, were you? What some characteristics that Ghost has that I wish I had as well? Well, of course, I mean, I would like to be a highly skilled tactician. That's why we're here today. That's why I set this up. I wanted to give these actors an opportunity to actually experience some of the skill sets that their operators in game get to display on a daily basis. Ultimately, I'd love to be like Ghost in more ways. I'd like to have the physical and tactical abilities he does. And that's why I want to do things like this. I want to learn how to be proficient with firearms. I want to do that CPR course that I'm undertaking right now. I want to complete all these different challenges to push myself physically and mentally to be a great team leader and to ultimately be the best version of myself I can ever be. I'm gonna get strong, bro. Real strong. And I'm gonna get stronger. A fucking ghost. <laughs> the 
The Call of Duty community has been incredible. So when I got the role, immediately there was an outpouring of love. Over the last year and a half, that's just continued. And I think rather uniquely, there's only ever been maybe one actor in the past from the COD franchise, James C. Burns, who actually had a direct contact with the fans in a more voracious way. And that's what I've tried to do. So playing the game, learning to become incredibly proficient at it over the last year and a half, arranging custom competitions with my community, streaming the game on Facebook gaming and YouTube gaming for six hours a day, six days a week, arranging autograph signings with the Cold War actors, with the Warzone and Modern Warfare actors, arranging stuff like this. I'm now living for the COD community, and even though my time as Ghost might have passed moving forward, I know that I'm still gonna have an interaction with those fans, because they're legends. And also because they wanna get some skills. And I've got the skills. 1.2 KD, baby. Some people say that's average. I say to those people, you're probably right. I have a number of different personal life goals. Um, the main one is to start a family with my girlfriend, Amanda. That's probably my main goal right now, just to have a family and be with a woman I love, making my wife. But don't tell her, but she already knows. But don't tell her, you're ruining the surprise. But she already knows. Personal career life goal, I mean, I've been in the Star Wars franchise now. I've been in the Battlestar Galactica franchise. I've been in the Call of Duty franchise. And I've been in the Warhammer franchise three occasions. So for me, what's next? Marvel, DC, what are you saying? <laughs> it could be a really good like Gambit, or maybe Lobo, or the next Wolverine. Bob, hire me. Seriously, I need a job. One random fact about me that the COD community might not already know is that back in the day, I actually used to produce and DJ music and uh, do remixes for Ministry of Sound and Island Records. So I was a little bit of a raver back in the day. You might have seen me in a different kind of mask back then, because I used to go under the moniker DJ's Men in Masks and wear Mexican wrestling masks, and not much else. It's good times. Can't remember much of them. It's my 20s. I think I had sex with a horse. No, we made love. And one other random fact about me that a lot of the COD community don't know is that uh, one of my most Highest achievements thus far in life was coaching kids in New Zealand. I taught uh, physical education at a school there to kids um, in Auckland, and I used to coach soccer for a bunch of kids, and it's probably one of the most rewarding experiences of my life. Even all the acting, all the roles in the world couldn't amount to what it feels like to teach kids to have self-belief and teach them a new skill they can put into life in terms of team play, friendship, and of course, aspiring to be the best they can be. That's probably my most fulfilling thing I've ever done. What are we doing here today? Well, of course, ladies and gentlemen, I've promised my community more and more content that is unique, that is different, and that is engaging between the actors from the Call of Duty franchise and the fan base directly. So today here at The Range, we're gonna be teaming up with Mike Levy and the rest of his squad here at Salt Dynamics out in Southern California. They're gonna teach us the ropes with a whole array of different firearms, try and help some of these actors who are portraying these heroic operators or villainous operators, depending on which faction they're part of, how to properly operate the firearms safely and impressively so they can uh, take those on into their next role, hopefully in bigger and better projects as they move forward in their careers. It's also just about having a good time. I think there's very little opportunity for a lot of voiceover talent and physical actors from motion capture studios in a game like Call of Duty that ever really get to see each other all in one place at the same time. So the fact that we could bring, you know, 15, 14 operators here today to actually meet in person, connect on a personal level, share a few laughs, shoot a few guns, and work out who's the best operator overall. That feels pretty good to me. I think the thing that a lot of people don't understand if they've never shot a firearm, which we're learning today, is that the hardest firearm to fire is always gonna be the handgun with iron sights. You know, all of these ARs that we're shooting, these uh, semi-automatic, full automatic rifles, obviously we're not shooting full auto here in California. And even the sniper, when you've got a sight on it, when you've got a red dot or an optic, it just makes life so much easier, especially when it's suppressed. That's a different level of shooting. Now, as soon as you pull out a handgun and try and fire that with iron sights, your aim can go all over the shot. So I think that's the biggest takeaway from today is it's not as easy as it looks. Even though in game, it feels like you have to destroy with a lot of recoil control, in reality, you don't have to do as much of that with a good AI. Favorite things to shoot today? I mean, I love shooting the sniper. Let's be honest, Ghost is, you know, a talented sniper. 
and uh, it was nice to shoot that 308 bad boy. <laughs> He's getting his own back on me. This is beautiful. Isn't this the romance you always wanted? Hey, what's going on? My name is Gus, and I'm here to hang out with you. Welcome to my show. Me, Jeff Leach, a.k.a. the ghost with the mouse, the host. Now listen, ladies and gentlemen, peace and love to all of you. Thank you very much. GG's, James C. Burns, I love you. Can't wait for us to get together again and get waxed like we did last time. <laughs> <laughs> I got me a ghost. <laughs> I love it.